United 93, we'll clear for takeoff. United 93, Cleveland. Do you have United 93 south of Shark? We hear some funny noises. We're trying to get him. Do you have him? No. Thank you. United 93, Cleveland. United 93, verify your flight level uh, 350. United 93, verify your level of 350. United 93, Cleveland. United 93, if you hear Cleveland Center, ID please. United 1523, did you hear your company? Uh, did you hear uh, some interference on the frequency here uh, a couple of minutes ago, screaming? Yes, I did, 797, and uh, I, we couldn't tell what it was either. Okay. United 93, Cleveland, if you hear the center right then. American uh, 1060, a ditto on the uh, other uh, transmission. American 1060, you heard that also? Yes, sir, twice. Roger. 561 Alpha Charlie, keep your airspeed back to 250 knots and uh, report reaching 370. We heard that also, thanks. I just wanted to confirm it wasn't some interference. Oh, we are just answering your call. Uh, we did hear that uh, yelling, too. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we're just trying to figure out what's going on. What is my here? I got the piece to down. Keep remaining sitting. We have the bomb aboard. So, yeah. Here's the transmission. They hear probably just said he had a bomb aboard. Uh, say so again. Uh, is that United 93? Uh, 5. 25, United 1523. Uh, 1523, Roger. Uh, 56. Roger. Executive 956, uh, traffic's going to turn. Make a, make a uh, left turn, Executive 956, to a 320 heading. We're going to miss him by a bunch here. So, Charlie, expedite your turn to the right to uh, west heading. One up, Charlie. Roger. Executive 956, just roll out eastbound. Hi, uh, here's the captain. Uh, we'd like to roll the main seat here. We have uh, one aboard, and we're going to back to the airport, and we have our demand. So, please remain quiet. Okay, it's United 93 calling. United 93, understand, have a bomb on board, go ahead. Okay, American 1060 and Executive 956, we just lost a target on that aircraft. Okay, 956, we had a visual on him, just stand by. Do you have a visual on him now? Uh, we did, but we lost him in the turn, so we just make a quick... Uh, well, I had a 37 aircraft right behind you on a vector also. That may be who you saw. Do you have a visual on him now, uh,
Okay, what's he doing now, sir? It appears that he might be turning a little to the north. Is that, does that concur? That's concur. It looks like he's rocking his wings, uh, according to my observer. Roger. 2,500. Keeps rocking back and forth. Thank you, sir. Bank angle, 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 bank angle. Do you see any uh, activity on your right side, smoke or anything like that? Yeah, we do have a smoke puff now at about, uh, oh, probably 2 o'clock. It appears to be just a uh, dark cloud like black smoke. United 9-3, bomb on Nope, not yet. United 9-3. United 9-3. How close are you to the intercept? We're not showing them in the system at all anymore. United 9-3. United 9-3. Have you got information on that yet? Yeah, he's down. He's down? Yes. When did he land? Because we he had did, confirmation. He did, he did not land. Oh, he's down? Yes. Noise coming from it, but the engines were running. Um, I then saw the plane coming down at almost a 90 degree angle, maybe an 80 degree angle, and the next thing I saw was a big fireball and smoke. When it come down over top of me, I seen it go ahead nose dive straight into the ground down here. We heard this noise in the sky, and my friend and I looked up and uh, said, what's that? And uh, just going over, basically over our uh, horizon of the hill was this plane. It was completely upside down is what it was. Uh, the tail fin was down and it was going in at a sharp ascent, probably more than a 45 degree angle, closer to a 90 degree angle. We recovered 44 sets of remains. We returned 40 sets of remains in the families. In a typical airline disaster of this nature, such as Flight 427 at the Pittsburgh at the airport, you can expect to recover between 17 and 30 percent of the human remains. The rest of it is going to be just vaporized. In this particular case, we only recovered 8%, and the reason given for that was the speed of the aircraft. Air crash investigator Greg Fyth wants to prove that there really was a plane. Fortunately, they were able to find the black boxes, that is, the cockpit voice recorder and the flight data recorder. The airplane went in at about a 40 to 45 degree angle into the ground upside down. The sad thing is, is that the human body is like a water balloon. And so at a high speed impact, unfortunately, the human explodes, as does the airplane. And so you won't find recognizable parts of the passengers and the crew on that airplane. The airplane went in, of course, this part stops because the ground acts as resistance, but the rest of the airplane still has a lot of energy and collapses into this big crater. That's why a lot of the witnesses said the impact crater was very shallow, but actually the airplane had gone in almost 40 feet and then the dirt collapsed in on top of it. That higher velocity will take the lighter particles and throw them further. The same with high speed velocity, you're going to get that big impact crater, but the smaller floats them or debris from the inside the airplane 
will be flung further out. And that's why we have debris covering 70 acres out in that field.
Tulsa is Lynn. Um, I only have a minute. I'm on United 93, and it's been hijacked uh, by terrorists who say they have a bomb. Apparently, they uh, have flown a couple of planes into the World Trade Center already, and it looks like they're going to take this one down as well. Mostly, I just wanted to say I love you, <laughs> and I'm going to miss you. <laughs> and, and please keep my love to love that. And... <sighs> Mostly, I just love you, and I just wanted to tell you that. I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to tell you that again or not. Um, my phone and all my stuff is in the safe. The, uh, the safe is in my closet in my bedroom. The combination is you push C for clear and then 0913, and then, uh, and then it should, and maybe pound, and then it should unlock. I love you, and I hope I can talk to you soon. Bye. Tuesday, 9.47 a.m. Hi, baby. I'm, baby, you have to listen to me carefully. I'm on a plane that's been hijacked. I'm on the plane. I'm calling from the plane. I want to tell you I love you. Please tell my children that I love them very much. And I'm so sorry, babe. Um, I don't know what to say. There are three guys. They've hijacked the plane. I'm trying to be calm. We're turned around. And I've heard that there's planes that have been, been flown into the World Trade Center. I hope to be able to see your face again, baby. I love you. Bye. End of message.